just so excited right now. I just got back from the Rio. <laughs> yes, I actually went there, you guys. Today, we will be reviewing my personal, personal, my opinion, okay? Don't get mad at me for whatever I have to say. So I went with one of my best friends, Karen, that you guys have seen her before on my channel, my sister, and my sister's best friend. First of all, we were so freaking late. We were supposed to arrive at 10.30 a.m. We did not arrive at that, at that time because there was so much traffic. We're driving from San Diego. The Warner Brothers Studio is in Burbank. There is so much traffic. We did not plan well because we're Mexican. We got there around 11 and at 10, like at 10 05 or something like that, I emailed the guy that's in charge of sending emails. His name is Bob. And I was like, hey, Bob, I'm not going to get there at 10 30. I'm going to get there around 10 50, 11 ish. Do you think we can still go in? And he didn't reply. We get there to the parking lot and I see like the whole crowd that's going to go to the Rio. I run off the car and I ask them, can we still go in? And he was like, yeah, we can. I still had to wait for my sister and everybody else to get off. So I was like, oh, I'm actually three other people. I'm going to wait for them. He's like, yeah. Then he comes up to me like two, three minutes later and he's like, hey, I have to already uh, like put everybody in. If they don't come, you can't go in. So I call my sister and I'm like, where are you? You need to run because uh, we're going to miss out on the show. And she, my sister's like, we're running. So I just see them running and I tell the guy, they're right there. He signs us up. We go in. Like, it was funny because we were like the last girls there, but they sat us all the way to the front. Before I went, I had an idea that I wanted to do this review, you know, because it's a big deal to me going to the real because, like, I freaking love those girls and I love the show. And I was watching, like, a couple videos of, like, the reviews and stuff, and all of them were super negative. Like, it was so fake, the real, uh, it's not real, like, etc. To be honest, maybe you went on a bad day because... My experience was awesome. I loved it. It was way better than Ellen. I'm sorry. I love her show. Super big fan. But going there, I wouldn't go back. It was not that good of a of an experience. Ellen has no type of personal contact with you. She doesn't. She didn't even pay attention to the crowd. The real, they actually look at you, talking to us, responding. It was more like we got to connect with the girls, which that's what you really want because if you don't, then it's like, just like kills your whole experience. I did watch other videos that said that yes, they do make you clap. They do make you get hyped. I didn't see that as a bad thing. Obviously, you don't want people on the show to be like this. You know, you want people like, oh, yeah, the girl here like you want that vibe in your show so I didn't find anything wrong with that their hype woman shout out to her she was amazing she literally runs the whole show she's hyping you up the whole time you get to take pictures which is something I did not get to do in Ellen I do not want to bash on Ellen's show or anything it was just my personal experience I a hundred percent recommend to go to the show the real the girls are so beautiful i adore adrian and that's really who i wanted to go and wanted to see in person she is so small she's tiny she literally looks like you can just carry her and throw her like she looks so freaking small like i've always known she's really she's short because she always shares her size her height i mean but she's like tiny she's so tiny she talks a lot she did not stop talking the whole time and i was like yes that's my girl latinas we talk all the time we just can't stop talking like look at myself right now i can't even let myself breathe because i'm just like so excited and i was like that is why i love her because she's just so this is so perfect after I turned off all the cameras and and lonnie grabbed the mic and she was like saying thank you to us that it was a hard show because you know, like, they needed energy because of the they're affected by Kobe Bryant passing away. And that we gave them that energy. And she was thanking everybody. She was saying, like, pray for the Bryant family. I love that she did that off camera. I love that she actually took the time to thank us before getting out. I have to point out that I got Adrian's attention. I was just being so hyped. I was jumping and jumping and jumping. And I was like, Adrian! And I literally could not stop yelling. I could barely breathe. I was like, ah! So she actually turned around and I was like, Adrian! She was like, 
she said hi to me and my sister was sitting right next to me and she was like she said hi to you I was like oh my god she did she said hi to me so like I can actually move on in life knowing that Adrian <sighs> looked at me for a second and said hi I'm so happy about that also I think that it worked out better for me this time than the Ellen show like I said I'm a huge fan of Ellen and I have super high expectations keep in mind I have never ever gone to a show like that so I was like on Ellen Ellen tube every day watching laughing loving the stuff she does all of that and then out of nowhere like I go to her show and I'm like I have super high expectations like oh my god Ellen she's perfect she's giving she does this that like and I get there and it's so oh, like I was just like uh, I shouldn't have came like I should have just kept like her whole image on like social media and all of that I was a little upset about it and with this show I decided to not have any expectations I was like if it's like that I don't care I'm just gonna be thankful that I was sitting in the same room as Adrian that's all I'm gonna think about that I got to see her and that's it maybe I had such a good time because I had no expectations so it was like such a cool experience everything worked out for the best and I was just so happy and I'm so happy to be back home because you know like with the whole Kobe Bryant passing away thing and not coming back home it's just such a sad story and it really does make you realize that we're just blessed every single day that we leave our houses in the morning and come back you never know when you're not going to it just really makes you think so I'm happy and blessed to be back home and that I was able to hug Ezra and Benjamin once again when I got here and I am so thankful that I got the experience of the real I really wish I could go again if anybody want to go wants to go with me let me know I'll try to sign us up how I did it it's pretty easy to be honest way easier than Ellen Ellen takes months this one took like a week and take me with you just kidding <laughs> if you want so I recommend for you guys to go and now I can say I met one of the cheetah girls okay well thank you guys so much for watching like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I hope you guys started the year super good if you didn't don't worry hopefully tomorrow comes for you and you can just start off brand new every day is filled with new blessings every day is brand new and every day we get to start over bye love you guys